Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how you can password protect your Google Documents. So when it comes to using your Chromebook, it's a bit different to using a Windows PC. With a Windows PC, I'm sure you've been in a situation where you've wanted to password protect a Word document, for example, or an Excel document and them options are freely available. It's not the same with Google um, documents using the Google Docs. And the main reason for that is that with Google, they assume if you can log into your accounts, then you can access anything on that account. And that's why it does it that way. But I can appreciate some people may be logged into their account and other people may use their laptop and they just want some document protected. Or perhaps you want to send the documents like you want you wouldn't necessarily want to pass protect a curriculum vitae but any sort of document you might want to send you might want to password protect that document so when it's gone to someone out by email for example nobody can open it up other than the person who knows the password so it's not something that's available but there is a workaround it's not the best workaround in the world so you'll have to decide whether it's suitable for you or not but this is one of the workarounds you can do so i'll show you how I've done it on here. Okay, so if we open up Office or Drive, your Google Drive, and this is just where you can create a new doc or sheets or slides. Um, we'll do it with the docs first, just to show you. So we do a blank presentation, blank document, not presentation, and I'll just put here, this is a test document. Okay. And I'm just going to put save that as well as it's got there. I'll just put test doc. Okay, so then that's all done. Now, like I said, in um, Google, you don't have the option anywhere to actually put password protection on there. So if we close these down now, and if we just open that, I didn't have to close that down there. And there it is there, the test doc there. You can see it there as well. And if you open it up, just opens up and there's no protection as such. So you may want to be do in a situation where you want to actually protect that document before sending it or just protect it on your home computer. So there is a way you can do it. So just open up the documents. So just go to extensions at the top here and then just do add-ons and then do get add-ons. And there's lots of different add-ons available. Now, it's worth bearing in mind, these add-ons are not necessarily created by Google. They are created by different companies. You can just access them from the Google Workspace Marketplace. In the search there, just type in password and hit return or enter. And then you get a list come up like this. So the first one we want is this one here. Well, this is the one we want, password protect for Google Docs. So click on that and then click on install and then press continue and then you need to choose your account and then you have to give it its permissions you don't i don't think you have to click these two if you don't want to and then just click on continue and there we go, here it is. So password protect for Google has been installed. Where to find password protect for Google documents? You can find password protect in the following places under the apps launch icon. That's where it's showing you where it is. So where, where that is, is from here. If you go to your Google Drive, up here, these dots here, it's got Google Apps. And this is where you get into your normal stuff. So you've got your account search, map, stuff like that. If you scroll down, you should see the one that you've installed. And there we go here. And it's this one here, password protect for Google documents. So click on that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to protect this document here. This is a test document. So just close that down like that and click on here. And then from here, you select from Google Drive because that's where it's saved. It's in um, Google Documents. So just click on there. Nothing's happening. I don't know why it needs to be authorized again. Just click on there again. 
It's because we should have ticked them two boxes. Okay, so you need to tick them two boxes when you installed. That's fine. If not, just do it now like I'm doing here. And then hit continue because without clicking them, it doesn't have access to your Google Drive. Okay, so let me just go back to you see. So from here, just select files from Google Drive, click on there, and then in your drive, this is recent here, or you could obviously click on your Google Drive and go into whatever document you're looking for. But recent's fine for us because it's this test doc that we want to do. So just click on it and then click select. Okay, and then from there, what you need to do is just type in a password here. So I'm just going to type in test and then create password protected documents. And there we go, it's completed here. Okay, so in relation to where that document is, now it's not as great as what you may be expecting, so please don't get your hopes up. It's not saved it as um, a Google Doc. I don't think it would be in downloads. I think it's going to be, oh no, but no, that's not it. That was something else I was doing. Um, we need to go back to Google Drive. And then you'll see you've still got that test document there. So if you open that up, it's still there. And as you can see, it's not password protected. The only way this works is password protection. It puts it into a PDF document. So it's not perfect. But then if you open up the PDF document like that, it will ask you for that password. So we know that it's test, just put in anything else, and obviously it will say no, it doesn't accept it. So you need the password to open it, which is test. And then submit. And there we go, it opens it. Now it, it's not perfect because it's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this to um, where is it? One second, let me just close that down. Let me just download this to the local drive so I can just show you. So it's just, it, it isn't just that it works in the Google Drive, it works anywhere. So we've downloaded this now onto our local drive. So if you go to open it up, it's there, test.doc. Again, try to open it, just click OK. Again, it will ask you for that password. So it's not perfect because you, you, it only allows you to do it as a PDF. So the problem with that is you can't then edit that Word document. But it's great if, for example, you can do a few edits, and I'll show you that, but not how you may have wanted to. So it's great, for example, if that was a document I wanted to send, it keeps the original on my Google Drive, as you've seen there. So it's kept the original there, and then it's created this one here. So you could then decide to send this to someone and it, it's something that you don't want other people to open accidentally and it has essentially protected the document okay so it's pretty good for that now one thing i would also say you can actually edit pdf documents to an extent it's not perfect but if you open up this pdf document type in the password because you can now edit pdf documents directly from your chromebook if you just open a PDF document. So for example, here, I'll try to use my stylus if it oh, I don't know if it is. I could just oh I've got a magnification. Um I could just do that's not working, don't know why, maybe it's a colour issue. Um let me just have a look. Here we go. So I could just do that and then just put my handwriting is dreadful like that for example or you could also add text so i could just do that there and just put um this is a test doc okay so that's the original this part here we've added these bits here and then if you save that like that it's saved that document now if you close that down there it is there. If you open it back up, even though you've edited it, the, the password's still there. So not perfect, I know, but if you want to password protect a document and you're not you, you you're okay 
I think the key really is to do it once the document's been completed like that, okay? Um, but, you know, it, it's okay. And the fact you can add extra to it isn't too bad as well. Um, we What I'll try now is to see, because it is, it, it's because obviously PDF comes with a password protection part on a PDF as standard, but you can also do it with spreadsheets as well. What I appreciate with a spreadsheet might be even worse of a situation because a spreadsheet you'd want to necessarily use again. But you could be in a situation where you've got some figures on a spreadsheet and you don't want people to see. So I'll just quickly put in some figures and put some random stuff in here. So three, four, five um, wheels, 39. So you could have something like that. Oh, I don't know why that's done that. Um, e5 to e6. You could have some things like that, for example, and that's a spreadsheet. So you then want to protect this spreadsheet. So if I just put test sheet, then close that down. And then if you open up Google Drive, then go to here, go back down here and do the password. And then select from there. And we do the test sheet, do select. And then again, we just put the same password test. And that's all being completed. And then if you go to drive, I don't know if it's that one yet. You've got to wait a little bit. I think that's the old one. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, that's the old one. So you just need to wait for it to come through. Just close that down. Open up Drive. There we go. I think it's this one here, Test Sheet. And then open that up. And again, put in there. So just to show you as well, you can do it with a spreadsheet. And I appreciate that doesn't look nice. It doesn't look great, but it, it's an option. So although we would like to have a password protection within Google um, Docs, we don't have it. That's a workaround. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.